All right, guys, we are going on a hunt today. We are going to Smith Haven Mall, Lake Grove, Long Island for all my East Coast people. Um, if you guys are in the area, I highly recommend checking out all the stores that we are about to showcase to you guys. In this one mall, they have a bunch of stores, Hot Topic, Newberry Comic, Box Lunch, FYE, GameStop, Barnes & Nobles, a couple of small shops that sell Funkos but aren't really Funko shops, uh, Go Toys or Toys Go, a bunch of places. So we're going to stop into a couple of places. We're going to showcase what they have. We might even pick some stuff up. And then when we get back at the end of the day, we will show you what uh what we picked up. So I will see you guys there. Peace out. Beep, 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 beep. What is up, YouTube fam, Funko fam? We're going on a little hunt today. I want to show you guys what Funko spots we have over here on the East Coast. And if you are on the Long Island, New York area, maybe this will be a place that you want to check out. So we are here at... Smith Haven Mall, and let's go see what we can find. He's out.
you know, this is very interesting because this was supposed to be a glow chase, so what's up with that? It's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down. All right, guys, so as you just saw, we got super lucky and found a child Big Mom Chase for a steal. I'm pretty sure she goes for around 80 to $100, and we just picked her up for 25 bones. And they gave me a $5 coupon, so we're doing good today. We're doing good. We got one last stop, and then we're out of here. All right, guys, and there you have it. This is why I recommend checking out Smith Haven Mall on the East Coast. Lots of, lots of places to grab Funkos over here. As you could tell, at this one place, we had Hot Topic, Box Launch, Newberry Comic, GameStop, FYE, Barnes & Nobles, Go Toys or Toys Go, whichever one it is. But yeah, guys, Barnes & Nobles was the last stop. We're about to head out of here, and uh, I'll show you guys what we got when we get home. Peace out. All right, guys, so a reason why I think that this area is a gold mine is because after you leave the mall about five minutes down the road, you will arrive at this place right here. One second. Retro Relics. And right next door is Time Warp Collectibles. Um, both of these places have a bunch of collectibles, a bunch of Funkos, a bunch of vendors. And it's definitely a place for you to check out. Unfortunately, I was too late today. They closed, but I'll save that for another video. All right, guys, we are back home. It is time to show you what we picked up. So the first 
pop that we picked up today was, it was actually a pocket pop. So, at box lunch, I saw for the first time a Boruto pocket pop. Thought this was really dope. Uh, my boy Twisted Johnny just sent me a picture of Kawaki. So, I don't know how many of these they're going to make. But, I definitely want to get my hands on all of them as they come out. Um, while we were also in box lunch... I picked up another um, Kilo Zoldic from Hunter Hunter. He is riding a skateboard. This is a box launch exclusive. Um, I think this is one of the damaged ones. I might have already put the good one in a vaulted vinyl. Um, the ones that I ordered online, which I believe this is one of them, came damaged. So while I was in store, I found one that was pretty minty and I picked it up. Um, if you guys want to see some inbox and out of box pictures of this, check us out on Instagram and follow us if you don't already. Um, since the last time I made a video, you guys got us to, I think, over 2,200 followers, which is amazing. So thank you guys very much, as always. And let's keep it going. Uh, the next one that we picked up was at GameStop. We found Jim Bay from one piece so this one i don't know how i didn't realize this or maybe i damaged this after the fact but i'm pretty sure you could see that in the video but this does have a pretty gnarly crease right here that i'm not too happy about but it's for the personal so it is what it is it's just the common um i do have a chase coming on the way but this is pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool I think I'm honestly going to like restart my One Piece journey and try to take it like very serious and just strictly watch One Piece because I'm a fan of the anime. But the only thing is, I feel like it's one of those shows where you know that there's so much ahead that I'll go watch Jujutsu Kaisen and then I'll come back and watch some One Piece and then I'll go watch this show and then come back and watch some One Piece. So I think what I need to do is like strictly binge watch one piece and just try to get caught up or at least as close as i can because i have a shitload of pops i love the molds on all these pops but there's a lot of characters that i haven't met yet and i want to you know i want it all to make sense to me and we got two more items let's save i'll save this one for the end so this is a figure that i've been trying to find for a while now I've been checking FYEs because I know they've been popping up there, but I haven't gotten lucky. And then finally, I found this at the Barnes and Nobles. So, this is, let's see if I can do this. I don't know. But, this is a Misa figure from Death Note. Super, super dope. Um... In the summer, I should be going to Rhode Island's first anime convention. And as of right now, the Death Note cast will be there. Misa does not have a Funko Pop at the moment. I honestly don't know if she's going to come out with one. Just because I know Death Note is a little old and they already have their line, blah, blah, blah. But you never know. If she got a pop, that would be really dope. I've seen a couple customs that are really cool. But, um, yeah. So my plan for this is to have her sign, I don't want to cover the whole thing, but if she could just sign maybe quote and sig right here, have the figure right there, try to get a protector for this. I don't know if the vaulted vinyl two packs will fit. If they did, that would be amazing, but I'm not 100% sure. And now the last and final pickup, which this one was like probably the best part of the whole hunt slash showing you guys what's over here would be at go toys just chilling on the shelf which was child big mom chase specialty series that's a new sticker for the specialty series i think this is actually the first pop that i have with that sticker it's pretty cool 
this is dope. And we snagged this once again for only 24 bucks. And then they gave me a $5 coupon, like I said in the video, which I think I got this total was like 20 bucks, which is a steal because if you guys saw when we were at Newberry Comic, uh, they wanted, I want to say $79.99 or $89.99. And I know it's kind of quick, but if you look at the one at Newberry, this whole part of the pop is damaged. So clearly it has value. Clearly it's going for, you know, something. And to be able to find this just chilling on the shelf for, you know, 20 bucks is, is a steal in my opinion. So I'm definitely, definitely hyped about this one. And, uh... Yeah, guys, that's pretty much the video. I definitely want to say thank you to everybody that continues to watch my YouTube videos, whether it be my music videos, whether it be skateboarding, whether it be the Funko um, unboxings, reviews, vaulted vinyl reviews, whatever it is. Uh, I do get these notifications from my YouTube and it shows me how many subscribers, how many views, how many this, how many that, minutes watched, blah, blah, blah. And surprisingly, even though I haven't been consistent and I haven't given you guys a video in a while, you guys are still watching my stuff. So I definitely just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are ever on the East Coast or if you ever visit Long Island, definitely check out Smith Haven Mall. Once again, they had... Hot Topic, Newberry Comic, Box Launch, GameStop, FYE, Barnes & Nobles, Go Toys. And like I said, there's a couple other shops I didn't even go into that um, that sell Funkos also. But obviously they're going to be a little overpriced because they're those stores that just go pick up pops and throw them in the store and I feel like try to sell them. But uh, yeah. And then down the road, which I know is kind of windy. I don't know if you guys were able to hear me 100%. But down the road is um, Retro Relics, which is pretty much a big ass collectible store that has a bunch of vendors so like this dude might sell anime figures this dude might sell video games that dude might sell like something completely different so that's definitely a spot to check out and then right next door is time warp um, toys and collectibles really good store as well a lot of old school toys a lot of old video games a lot of nostalgia for Anybody that's been collecting or anybody that grew up on uh, video games or collectibles in general. So it's definitely a place to check out. Um, you might get lucky and find they have like a grail wall behind the register. Sometimes you get lucky and find stuff for a really good price. So it's definitely somewhere that you guys should check out. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Just thank you guys once again for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe and comment. Real quick, um, since the last time we did a video, we do have a little bit more going on. Uh, we are doing Twitch now. We're streaming live on Twitch three nights a week. So if you guys are interested in either playing with us, we're streaming Nintendo Switch. Uh, everyone is welcome. Everybody can join, can add me as a friend. Uh, you just got to message me on Instagram. And uh, yeah. I'll put the link below for Twitch, for our Discord that we got going. I think we got like 35 members now, which is pretty dope. So we got Twitch going, we got Discord going. Everything is uh is really good with that. Uh, we hit affiliate, which is dope. I think we have almost 75 followers so far. So it's a cool little journey. Um, honestly, not really taking anything too serious. I'm kind of just having fun with it. We've been uh, doing Mario Kart Saturdays, which has been a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, everything else throughout the week is pretty random. Pokemon raids, um, yeah, Splatoon 3, this, this, that, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, that's about it. And my last and final thing that I would like to say before I get out of here, um, I know I've said this once, I've said this twice, I've said this a hundred times. I do want to try to get back to giving you guys consistent videos on YouTube it is just really hard between dad life and work life. But I want to give, <clears throat> my God, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Jeff from The Poppin' Couple. I'm going to put the Instagram right here. Definitely check them out. I'll put the YouTube right here as well. Definitely check them out. Him and his lady Asia are very, very great people. And Jeff has been kind of, smacking me up a little bit and putting some sense into my brain that I gotta get back to the YouTube and 
it's not making excuses essentially because I can do it. It's just like right now I'm recording at almost four in the morning, you know what I'm saying, after work. But it can be done. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to him. Appreciate you, my guy. I'm I'm doing this right now for you, so I hope you see this. And <laughs> your boy's grinding. It's almost four in the morning, but I'm still going. It's all good. And uh and yeah, guys, that's it. That's it. I'm done talking. This video's long as hell. I hope you guys enjoy the first chunk, which isn't really much of me. It's really just this store, that store, this store, that store. And then I'm going to try to speed this up because I'm already seeing 12 minutes and we already got like 10 minutes of footage over there. But if this ends up being like a 20 minute video, I hope you guys watch till the end. And that's it. Until next time. Peace out. Make sure you follow us on Instagram where we are still consistent as ever. Posting daily. Rayfix collectibles. Stream with Ray Figs on Twitch. Night Owls Discord. That's it. <laughs> Peace out. I'll see you guys later.